Hey you guys, it's Vijaya and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are making one of my favorite curries of the moment. We are making chicken hundi, which is traditionally cooked in a hundi, which is a clay pot, which imparts so much great flavor. But today I'm making it in a wok and you can just as easily make it in a frying pan as well and it'll be super tasty. Now this curry is mild and creamy, so if you have those in your life that don't like a lot of spice, a lot of heat, then this is the curry to make. And it is super light and luxurious. So there's no cream in this curry, yet it has a super creamy mouthfeel and it goes really well with Indian flatbreads like naan, chapati, roti, or even a little bit of basmati rice on the side. Now, if you're looking for the recipe, it is just under this video. Let's get started. If you guys know me, you know how much I love using chicken thighs for curries. But for some reason in chicken hundi, I prefer chicken breast. I just love the texture. And what we wanna do is we wanna seal off the chicken breast in a little bit of oil. So I have a hot pan here. We're gonna add some oil to it and I'm going to gently lower in my chicken breast and we're gonna saute it for about five to six minutes until it is just cooked through and then transfer it to a bowl. Now we're ready to get started on the base for the curry. So to the same wok, I'm going to add a little bit more oil and we're gonna throw in a few cumin seeds. Now the cumin is going to get nice and toasty and crisp and it's gonna impart such a great flavor to the curry. Up next, I'm gonna add in some onions and we're gonna saute the onions until they're slightly golden before adding some grated ginger, and some grated garlic. Now these are only gonna take about 10 to 15 seconds to perfume the base. In go my tomatoes, and I'm gonna season them up with a little bit of salt, some freshly cracked black pepper, coriander, turmeric, and chili. Now we're gonna saute the tomatoes until they've nicely reduced down and until the oil starts to pool along the edges. The tomatoes smell so, so good. They've caramelized, they've cooked down, and that is what you need in order to make a great curry every single time. Now I'm gonna take my cooked chicken, we're gonna pour it back into the tomatoes, and we're gonna give that a nice toss to coat. Now we're gonna add a little bit of yogurt to our curry. And one of the questions that I get most frequently asked is, Vijaya, why is it when I add yogurt to my curries, they split? Well, there are two things that you need to keep in mind. Yogurt is super sensitive, so you wanna drop your heat down to low. That makes it easier to introduce the yogurt. And secondly, the most important one, you wanna whisk your yogurt until it is nice and smooth. Now that it's nice and smooth and the heat is down low, we're gonna gently pour it in and then swirl it into the chicken and tomatoes. We're gonna further cook it until the oil starts to separate along the edges. Now I'm going to pour in a little bit of water to help create the gravy for the curry. We're gonna give that a nice stir and increase the heat to about medium high. Now we're gonna cook the chicken until it has become nice and tender and until that curry has slightly reduced down. Our chicken hundi is almost ready. It looks incredible. And now we're gonna do the final seasonings. So I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of crushed kasuri methi, which is going to add amazing flavor, as well as a sprinkling of garam masala. Give that a nice mix. And now off the heat, a little bit of fresh chopped coriander. And there you have it, easy chicken hundi. I wish you could smell this chicken hundi. It has literally perfumed the entire room and I can't wait to dig in. So I have my spoon here. Let's grab a little bit of the sauce, a little bit of the chicken. It is piping hot, people. Mmm. Mmm. So good. This chicken hundi is so mellow and dreamy. It gets its creaminess from the yogurt, a little bit of tang from the tomatoes, and those layers of spices stack up beautifully. The chicken has cooked down so nicely. It is fork tender, and it is just dying at this point to be spooned over some hot basmati rice or served with some rotis. A nice, easy chicken curry that everyone will love. I hope you guys get to try this recipe at home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to give me a big ol' Thumbs up, you know how that makes me feel. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe for more videos. And as always, if you have a question, comment, concern, or request, leave it in the comments box down below. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.